A lot of kids asking me for the hybridization of H2O. And what you're actually asking for there is the hybridization of the oxygen. Hydrogen does not hybridize ever. Never seen it. Not going to happen. It's probably a question because hybridization is always presented as carbon. But carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, uh, fluorine, these things can all hybridize if it means that you're explaining the atomic orbitals properly. I just want to draw you the Lewis structure of water really quickly. You got single bonds to each of the hydrogens. You got two lone pairs on the oxygen. Surely you knew that. What you didn't know is that lone pairs and sigma bonds, sigma being the first bond between any two atoms, a double bond would be a sigma bond and also a pi bond. And a triple bond would be a sigma and two pi bonds. Sigma bonds and lone pairs all go into hybrid orbitals. What that means is I need one, two, three, four hybridized orbitals to explain this structure. How do you get four hybrid orbitals? Well, you're allowed to hybridize the s orbital that comes with an atom, and then you're allowed to hybridize up to three p's, but you, we need four total. So that's one from the s's, and then three from the p's. See how I figured that out? Number of sigma bonds and lone pairs around that atom tell you how many hybridized orbitals you need. And then you hybridize the s along with as many p's as you need to count up to that total. You can think about this as an s1 p3, but just like in math, an exponent of one is meaningless to us. If it wasn't, if it, if there wasn't supposed to be one there, we just wouldn't have written the s, but that would have been against the rules of chemistry anyways. The point is that this is an sp3 hybridized oxygen atom. So, this sigma bond is an sp3 hybridized orbital from oxygen, sigma bonding with the 1s orbital of hydrogen. Remember, hydrogen does not hybridize. It's just the 1s orbital, and that's it. These lone pairs are in oxygen's sp3 hybridized orbital. If I was going to draw an orbital overlap diagram, I'd have to orient my sp3 hybrid orbitals tetrahedrally. I haven't done a good job of drawing the three-dimensional structure there. Hydrogen, hydrogen, lone pair, lone pair. The point is it's sp3 hybridized. That's what you came for. That's what I gave you. You're welcome and best of luck.